Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your spirit message reading for you for being overwhelmed, overstressed, and having obstacles to overcome. And I think this reading is so prevalent. This message from spirit is so prevalent during these times. So if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It is all the good things that the YouTube algorithm likes. So thank you guys so very much for doing so. You are absolutely amazing. So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay. So let's see here. We are crowned with the Empress Reverse. Okay. This could be mother troubles. Okay. Just letting you know, you can find it being hard being a mother. However, that is in your life. You can be having a difficult time with a mother figure in your life. So just being mindful about that. Just first, right off the bat, reading it as plain and straightforward as as possible with the Empress reverse. This can also be, I'm having trouble giving birth to my dreams, taking the creativity, the passion that I have inside of my head and bringing it forward into the waking world. There can also be something here where you are having trouble moving forward. It can be that there's a fear of, you know, of going out into the world, of driving, of connecting with people. However, again, that manifests because this is a general reading. It's going to come through differently for each and every one of us. We have to be aware of this. You know, horsepower. Rhiannon is the goddess of horses. So we can also be having car trouble during this time. Being aware of this is going to be very important. Okay. Our, our next card is the Hierophant, not the Hierophant, the Hangman Reversed. We're changing our mind, all right? This is going to be a time where we're saying to ourselves, I should really fit in more. Excuse me. I should take me and I should be more like everybody else. And Spirit is saying why. But we are going to kind of throw away fundamentally and you know, solely who we are and say, oh, but I'm supposed to be like this, what the media says I should be, how people say I should be. And <sighs> Spirit is saying, as long as you're coming from a place of love, of kindness, of respect, of, of making this world a better place. You know, you're not one of those bullying, you know, overbearing people who are like, it's my way or the highway. You know, you wouldn't be here <laughs> if you were. Be mindful about this because we're going through a hard time, a time where we feel unlistened to, we feel blocked, we feel overwhelmed. We feel like people aren't taking us seriously. People aren't seeing us. And it's like, well, I should just change everything about me. Spirit saying to us, no, be beautifully you because it is your own talent, your own uniqueness that is going to have you standing out into the world. We then have the wheel of fortune, all right? We can feel the wheel of fortune changing. Now we could have been going through a very hard time. We could, we could be going into a hard time. I always hate saying that because I don't want to, you know, I don't want you to feel like, oh, Dane, you're, you're, you're kind of like, you know, speaking a curse over me or speaking negativity over me life happens. Life happens. We could be riding a high that is unbelievable, a, a, a absolutely fantastic win one moment, and then get devastating news the next that changes our life. So the Wheel of Fortune is like, okay, we're feeling like our Wheel of Fortune, whether this perception is right or wrong, right? We're feeling stuck in our fortune. We're feeling like our fortune is not moving forward positively. And this can be very overwhelming for us. Now, do note, Leo, that we can also just have astoundingly high expectations for ourselves and be like, well, I'm not reaching my goals. And it's like, yeah, but you had unrealistic goals. So let's step back for a minute and stop being so hard on ourselves. So do be aware of this because that is also a very, a very Leo thing to do. We like to succeed. We like to achieve. We, we are, are very proud when, when we achieve and when we succeed, you know, and we like to be in that win state. So who doesn't, <laughs> who doesn't? And when things don't go according to plan, we can be very, very hard on ourselves. We're releasing so many lies. With the seven of swords reverse, we are releasing so many lies, so much negativity, so much hurt, so much pain, so many disappointments. And it leads us to the three of cups. 
We need to surround ourselves with people who celebrate us, with people who see us. This is people who are not afraid to raise their glass to us. Yes, these are also going to be the people who kind of give us that little smack upside the head when we're we're doing something wrong or we're, you know, we're not living up to our potential. They could they can tell us this, but that's because they love us so much. So just be aware of this. This isn't toxic people. These are the people who will be the first to say, job well done, yay you. This is awesome. And if you're saying, Dane, I don't have these people in my life, then know that is your angels. It is your spirit guides leading you forward. Do not abandon who you are. We have the emperor reversed. Interesting. Okay, here. Okay. So hear me out. Know that some of you aren't going to like to hear this. But when the emperor and the when the emperor and the empress are reversed, we could have a soulmate relationship, a twin flame relationship, however you see it that we had been through. It was a really intense relationship that has crumbled apart. Okay. We can be having relationship trouble, but we're also not seeing ourselves right now. So being aware of this is going to be important. With the emperor, the emperor is power, tenacity. This is Aries energy coming through. We can have a difficult time with an Aries or the Aries time frame of March 21st to April 19th. What day is it? <laughs> I forget. Oh my gosh, it's been so much. So during the time of this reading, even though this reading is for whenever it finds you, we are at the tail end of yeah, we're at the tail end of Aries time period. And we can find that to be a little bit difficult. So do be aware of this. But there can be there could be a past relationship that's coming through, whether that be a romantic relationship, whether that be a relationship between your parents might have been bad, between, you know, a past person in your life, you know, you might have had a very strong bond with them and then it just tore apart. It could be a friendship that ended. It it can be any sort of really close relationship. We are now we're we're mourning it's lost. We're, we're looking at it during this time. And one of the reasons why we're overstressed, one of the reasons why we're overwhelmed, you know, why we have, you know, obstacles to overcome is this relationship that did not go well. It brings us then to the King of Wands. We are represented by the Wands in the Minor Arcana. This is Fireside Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Amplifying Aries energy here, but also this is our fire. This is our passion. This is ourselves. Our temper can get in the way. We always have to be mindful of that as, as fire sign energy, our temper can get in, in the way at times. There's a transformation that's having us step into our power, into ourselves that we are resisting for one reason or another. We might not feel worthy. We might be thinking, oh no, this isn't right for me. I, I can't possibly do this. It's like, mm -mm, it is. You can take the anger out of it. And that's going to be a huge thing during this time to slow things down, to do things that are slow and to do things that take the anger out of it. The five of cups is change your mind, change your life. You're not going to want to. <laughs> I laugh because it's like we're being a little bit stubborn here with our drama. It's like, and, and with our trauma, it's like, nope, I'm holding on to this and I will hold on to it forever and ever and ever. Thank you very much. I've earned it. It was hard and I'm not going to let it, it, let it go because letting it go means I'm letting that person off the hook. I can feel this energy coming through so powerfully. I might just be speaking to one person right now but I don't think so. And here, Spirit is saying, listen, some things come to the end. And when they come to the end, it's not a nice ending. It's like, whoa, that's not cool. And we can mourn that forever and ever and ever. We all know people who do, who people who stay in that trauma and it eats them up. But we can't put the wine back into the cup. We can be sad that it's spilt, right? That's expensive. That was supposed to be a celebration. You know, what the heck? But we can't take the wine out of the earth, right? It's just mud now. You can't drink mud. I mean, you, you, I guess you can, but ew. So here with the two of cups behind us, we have to turn around. And for one reason or another, that turning around, that changing of the season, the changing of the way that we're seeing things is a bit difficult. And so being aware of that is going to be important. It's like, oh, wow, this is a hard time. I have to show myself some grace. I have to stop being so hard on myself. I have to stop looking at what everybody else wants from me and say, what do I want from me? Okay, so let's see what Spirit has to say 
And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, don't forget to put a ring cloud in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday. So good luck to everyone, angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. This is Inspire. It is time to be inspired again. It is time to embrace inspiration. And that is going to be just so important for us. Our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Psychic development. This is the third eye chakra. It is opening your third eye. It is saying, I am embracing my psychic development, my psychic self, my spiritual self, my tenacity, my brilliance, my understanding. I am stepping into this energy. I am stepping into me. Now, this could be developing psychically. This can be developing empathically. This can be developing, you know, just as a sensitive person and saying, but this is who I am. And stepping again into this energy. Connecting more with our angels, with our spirit guides. And it brings us then to the energy we need to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. That one, there we go. This is, oh, well, spirit says this one too. Okay. There's, this is earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is somebody who lies about money. Okay. This is a lie about money that we need to walk away from. Somebody stole from us. Okay. Yeah. I, I would say somebody stole from you. This relationship, you might find that you were giving the money in the relationship and the other person was taking it probably for nefarious purposes. So just be aware of that. And, and that has scarred you. That has been like, you know, that was not cool at all. So just, just be aware of this. This, this was a toxic relationship, whether it was a romantic relationship or not. You right now at this time are dealing with wounds from a toxic relationship that is coming up. Now, it can be that it was prevalent in your life. It can be that it was not prevalent in your life. But the eight of cups, like walk away, right? But it still rears its ugly head every now and then. So be, mind be mindful about this. Yeah, walk away, but be mindful. It still kind of like, wants to pull you back in at, at times. We need to embrace our creativity and we need to give an outlet to it. That is going to be a very important thing. So seeing that here with the with the three of with the three of the major arcana, right? The Empress, that is going to be important. That's going to be powerful. We have the repeat of the number three, which means that divinity is is standing with us, walking with us. Three is a very holy number. We're wanting to change ourselves. Now, it can also be that we think, oh, this person will like me. Or this person will hire me, or this person will see me, or this institution will see me, like me, whatever, if I change who I am. Don't. Again, as long as you're coming from a place of respect, of love, of kindness, of compassion, you know, so what if you don't look like a Barbie doll? <laughs> like, so what? Or a Ken doll? Like, stop it. I know how hard it is to stop it, to not sit there and look at ourselves and, and criticize and criticize and criticize. But it's important. It's important to say, when will I finally be happy with me? My talents, my physical shell, when will I finally be content? Because, you know, not to get morbid on anybody, but we're only given so much time. And we have to love ourselves. We do. That's, that's one of the biggest things to do in this world. And it's one of the hardest things to do. And, and here it's like, you no, know, start to see you because with the three of cups right in the middle, it's like, if you start to celebrate you and surround yourself with people who celebrate you, it's like all of a sudden you change the game. And what felt like you were going into a time, a, a season of, of sorrow or a time where it's just, it's just more struggle, right? It's just more struggle. It can also be that in our head, because we've gone through so much struggle, we can feel like, oh, it's just more struggle, right? It's just going to be never ending struggle. So we don't even know when we're stepping out of it. So stepping back, that's going to be important. We're releasing so many lies, so many lies, so much nonsense that others have told us that we have told ourselves, you know, sneakiness, lies, deception, especially if you were dealing with somebody with a Can I say substance? 
issue, okay, or with with something to that effect, just be aware of that. Like with something here that was again nefarious, that you're like, mm -mm, no, and 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 healing from the lies of that. With the three of cups, it's time to celebrate you, and it's time to get into either support groups, you know, for people who, if, if if we have been the person who has gone through this, this trial, you know, people who support us, but also, you know, even people who support people who have been through this trial, like, that's going to be important. That is going to be important here to be like, oh, I can celebrate me. I'm, I'm worth it. Do not let your temper eat you up. It will be very, very easy to get super, super strict, super militant, super like it has to be this way, it has to be this way. Stop it, <laughs> which is very easy to say. It's harder to do. And with the emperor, it's like, see your talents, see your strengths, let you shine. Okay, with the, with the king of wands, don't get in your own way. You're going to have a tendency to get in your own way. It just has to be perfect, right? And then it can move forward. It just has to be perfect and then it can move forward. It's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be enough. And that is something that we're fighting against during this time. So just being aware of that, that's going to be an important thing. It's like, oh, okay, step back, see me. Change your mind, change your life. We're a little bit stuck right now, but change your mind, change your life. Start looking at things and start saying, you know what? I'm pretty darn amazing. I'm pretty darn amazing. And I'm letting myself shine. Our subconscious spirit message is soulful. We need to fill our soul. We do. Instead of saying, oh, how is this going to make me more money? How is this going to move me forward? How do I monetize everything that I do? So every moment of every second of every day, I'm just, you know, becoming richer and richer and richer. Fill your soul. How does, how does your soul matter? It brings us then to, again, our third eye chakra coming through, visualization. We have to see it. You know, see it and believe it. This is visualizing, okay, what do I want? How do I move forward? Where do I need to be? We can visualize it, but remember our, our mind is limited, right? Our, our vocabulary is limited. We can only visualize what we have seen. We can visualize also a feeling. I know it sounds odd to say visualize a feeling, but visualizing our happiness, visualizing our, our power, visualizing that energy is going to be so important to us as well. So really embracing the art of visualization. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of, the seven of pentacles. We're not going to want to be patient. We are going to want to push things forward faster, 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 make a decision now. It has to be like this. It's either we can be dealing with somebody like this or we can have this energy in for ourselves. So just be mindful that we need to be patient even though we're not going to want to be. The two of wands, doors are closing. They're closing and we're going to be like, oh wow, that's it. That's just proving once again, that door closed that I can never, it will never. And spirit's like, stop it. Certain doors are closing for a reason because you're not supposed to walk backwards. And you're going to see as that door closes, like a window opens, new opportunities come your way that you wouldn't be looking for if, if the door had opened the way you expected it to. All right. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Leo, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.